was the night of the election, would history be made? Would the country vote Obama or elect John McCain? It was the night of the election, as the world sat perched on needles and pins. Somewhere in Atlanta, Georgia, Spelman College hosted a lock-in. But no matter what happens tonight, history will be made. Hi everyone, my name is Chanel and I'm here at the lock-in at Spelman College in Upper Manly. I'm excited to be here and um, we'll just see what happens in terms of the election. How do you feel about the lock-in tonight? I feel that the lock-in is a great opportunity for the, the AUC students to get together and really, you know, vibe and talk about voting today and talk about history. This is a great moment in history. Our ancestors at each school really waited for this moment and we all get to live it. So I think it's a great opportunity. Have you voted? Yes, I voted. I went at 545 this morning to vote. At 820, I voted. So. How are you doing, Dr. Harper, today? I'm doing great. This is the most fantastic day of my entire life. So how do you feel about the lock-in tonight? This is the first time I ever remember Spelman College doing anything like this. This is wonderful to see the activism, to see the energy, and just to be with other people to see these results come in. Have you voted? I am a Georgia voter. So we know who you voted for, right? Uh, I think you might be able to figure that out. Um, it, feels, um, it feels good to me to have all these students here together um, re representing not only, you know, just what each one of us believes in politically, but also, you know, our interest in the topic at hand as well. And having this lock-in, you know, it just gives us a chance to all get together and watch and celebrate. I voted absentee, and because I know somebody's going to say, oh, absentee ballots aren't, aren't counted. I overnighted mine, so I know my ballot counted. I know my vote was important, and I wanted it to be a part of history, so I'm glad that I did that. It is such a wonderful thing to see so many of you here at this AUC lock-in that Spelman is hosting here in the Manly Center. I am, as I think most of you know, Dr. Beverly Daniel Tatum, president of Spelman College. It's a great thing. I love it. So much fun. We have a lot of performers. Al Sharpton spoke earlier, Jermaine Dupree. We have some African dancers, singers. Um, a couple of people were on BET, so it's a lot of fun. you guys feel about the lock-in tonight? It's definitely high energy out here. I mean, like you have people who are dedicated to the cause, the voting for not just a particular person, but for change. You know, hopefully whoever gets into office, McCain or Obama, they'll be able to uh, really kind of embrace the, uh, the society, you know what I'm saying? We are mixed. We are black, white, Latino, Asian. Those are all America, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, I have to say, I think this is very, very invigorating. Um, I just hope that this uh, is a, a piece of what's going around around America, that young people are exercising their right to have a voice. I said, everywhere I went, somebody asked me, did you vote today? Did you vote today? And, you know, I was asking my friends, did you vote today? And everybody made sure we held each other accountable to make sure that we are using, uh, exercising our rights. So I'm definitely very optimistic. I believe Obama's going to gonna get it and that we, uh, I, and I'm hoping that the country is headed in the right direction. It's a stirring sight, but it's incomprehensible. Even a year ago, I wouldn't have thought this possible. history of our nation. On the night of the election, one saying became true. Black, white, yellow, brown, or orange, if you can dream, then you can do.